They added in a new mastery event into Modern Warfare 2. Only problem is, the rewards are kind of mid. So the event is the trophy hunt event. All you got to do is kill unique players in games, meaning like kill each player on the enemy team like one time. You get a token once per game per player. And you can use those tokens to unlock these. And once you get all of these done, you get these masteries here, which are just operator skins. Personally, I don't think they look very good. I, I don't know if it's worth it to grind all the way up for Rose, who looks like she's about to go sledding. And then in another week or so, they're going to add some more masteries so you can get this Kong skin, which honestly, is a little better because this little night vision goggle thing not as don't look at there but this little night vision goggle thing kind of looks cool but still it just looks like a boring operator skin like i don't even think they'd throw this in a bundle and i have not played on my main account since they added this event in and i already have 150 tokens i'm pretty sure you get this through the black cell like add-on to the battle pass also do not buy it i only bought it for content i really don't recommend getting it but uh, apparently you get 150 trophies for this and most of the rewards are just like emblems calling cards you know vehicle skins there's a, a little weapon blueprint in here. Uh, this is the Venom Strike. It actually looks kind of decent. This is probably one of the only good things in here. But if I had to pick something else that's nice, the double battle pass XP is good and the tier skips. All right, Th that can help with unlocking like the intervention and the, the new marksman rifle that's also broken that you can't get camos for. But since I do have these 150 tokens, let me go ahead and grab some of these. I'll pick up. Oh, wait, it says I have exactly 150. Why can't I get this? Huh? Okay, so it's just red for no reason. I'll save that for later. Let's go ahead and grab this battle pass XP token. That way, while we're doing this, we can start earning some battle pass XP and I'll get a tier skip as well. And now I'm going to set my goal at getting the assault rifle. But this trophy hunt and master calling card, I don't know if that's worth it either. That's just something to get to say you got it. And I'm probably going to be one of those people to get it to say we got it. But this gives me an excuse to actually go in and use the intervention. I've been having a lot of fun with it. So let's go ahead, hop in and try to rack up some trophies. All right, let's go ahead and turn that on. But I hopped into 10v10s here. I don't know what the best strat is to get as many tokens as possible. But I figured 10 people on the enemy team. That's probably a good start. Oh, jeez. You know, outside of those awful shots right there, I've been having a lot of fun with the intervention. This is probably my favorite weapon in the game now. And one of the, the bright spots of season three, I feel like they haven't really added in a whole lot with this season. At least not to what our expectations were for it. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. Ooh, there we go. But at least they added in a, a fun weapon to use. Uh, honestly, I think the marksman rifle or the battle rifle, honestly, I don't know the difference at this point. I'm too afraid to ask. But the battle rifle is pretty fun to use as well. It's just the camos are bugged on it and you can't get polyatomic or Orion, which really sucks. Because I spent like a whole extra hour and a half grinding headshots on it, thinking that it just wasn't you know, showing my progress. And I know there's a way to go in like the weapon menu and see. But I just I just had to make sure I got a little extra done on it. I think I got at least like 50 headshots with it, maybe more. So double than what they're expected. And I still didn't get polyatomic on it. So I hope they fix that fast because it, it sucks only having two new weapons added in and then only be able to get Orion on one of them which is really disappointing Ooh, that's a nice little double and they're not gonna let me get my trophy come on and i really hope that last season isn't the only time that we ever see the event camos come in because i thought it was a really good idea to add something like that and i i hope they don't replace it with just like a bunch of you know throw away cosmetics like uh, emblems and calling cards and charms like things that I personally don't see myself using at all so I'm pretty set with my emblem and my calling card I don't think I'm, I'm changing that and then charms on weapons I'll add them sometimes if you know they they look cool with whatever camo or blueprint I'm using but the loading screens it's just such filler who wants all that who goes I really need this loading screen this is sweet nobody. And it's kind of the same thing with the ranked rewards. I do like that you can grind all the way up for a camo, but they didn't have to make it look so awful. Same with like all the rest of the wards leading up to the camo, but that's a, a story for another day. We'll have to grind ranked again. We'll have to get all the way back up to 100 wins. And I think the scoreboard's broken. What is this? I'm hitting tab and all it's doing is like hiding the UI for a second and my game's like freezing. That's cool. That's real nice. New update, less features. I think what my strat's going to be here, uh, you know, if I can even do it, because I'm kind of getting slammed on right now. But if I do end up getting the 10 trophies, I'm just going to back out of the game. I don't know if you get to keep the trophies from backing out or not, but it'll be a good time to test it. But so far, we only have four of them. We're either killing the same dudes over and over again, or we're just getting slammed constantly. And both are probably likely. I like the idea of the trophies and everything, but... We could have got something a little better from them, you know? And I also don't know how long these tokens actually stay on the floor. Because you can kill somebody and the token will be there. And then if you die before you pick it up, I've never been able to go back and like retrieve it. 
So maybe you have to do it within the same life, or maybe it's before they die like a second time. Like, I'm not really sure how it works. I guess we're gonna find that all out today. And that's game. I don't even think we got six tokens. Look at that, plus five. Maybe I should start working on weapon mastery for this. I'll, I'll throw gold on for a little bit. Oh, now the scoreboard's working. Okay, bit weird. Convenient that it doesn't work when I'm playing like ass. But you know what? I won't question it. And I think I probably chose the worst weapon to try to go trophy hunting with. Because if I get these kills, I have to run all the way over to where their trophy is. I don't even know where it went. I just killed the guy over here and it's gone. So it's definitely not within my life, but I'm going to have to kill them a lot closer up, a little more close range. Or I run the risk of not even being able to pick up my token. And we talked about this a little bit while we were working on that new battle rifle, but uh, it seems like they're adding even more pay to win bundles to DMZ. The last bundle they added, I think it was like you get a, a medium backpack whenever you use that operator from the bundle. And then the weapon has like a 15 minute insurance time, which, you know, isn't crazy in the grand scheme of things. But I think they just added a ghost bundle where you have uh it might be the bass p with a blueprint that looks like the acr so they're kind of just teasing us but it is like classic ghost blueprint i know a lot of people are going to be buying that like operator but i think it also came with like a, a free kill streak or something just by getting the weapon or just by getting the bundle and from all the leaks i've seen on twitter it looks like they're going to be adding a bundle that gives you a free uav in dmz which is like why I feel like, you know, there, there's a very nice community in DMZ. You know, it, it's pretty niche, but the people that play it love it. And all you're doing is making it like worse for them. Like if somebody's gonna sit there and try to grind in DMZ and you're just gonna give them stuff for free, it's kind of whack. Well, I guess it's not really free since you're spending real money, but like these people that are spending hours and hours grinding for something just to be able to, to like toss a few bucks into the game and get it is just odd, odd choice. But I guess if they're going to do it, that's the mode to do it. And I feel like they get the least amount of backlash for that. But I'd really hate to see that like start bleeding into like multiplayer or BR. But I think they know it's like putting their game on life support if they do that. Oh, and there's our 10th token. Now I could be risking this, but I'm going to back out of this game and see if we still get our 10 tokens. Let's hope. Events? I lost two. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I didn't get any of them. That sucks. So we can't even back out. At least we know now. At least we learned early. And what was the item you get here? Oh, two play armor vest. I mean, the, the stuff they're throwing in right now is still isn't like crazy for pay to win, but they're ramping up to it. If those leaks were right. I honestly forgot this map was in the game. I have not played on this in a long time. You know what? We'll give it another try. I will say with all the, the hate this map gets, this was really good for getting javelin kills. You just launch them and they go blow up a car. Kind of crazy. Oh, come on. No, it should have been there. Oh, this is actually the worst map for this. How am I going to get all these tokens? I have to spawn all the way back, run a 5k, and then somehow get to these tokens before they despawn? What bullshit is this? Especially because everybody's sniping. Literally everyone. I remember why I haven't played on this map. It's dog ass. What? I can't even go on the outside of it? Look, people are just shooting underneath the trucks. Right in my dick, too. Yeah, actually, fuck, uh, fuck these tokens. I'm leaving. And right, now we're pretty behind on these tokens. I gotta pick it up. We've thrown away 12 of them. That's a quick two. Oh, well, we got our gold challenge done. Moving on to plat. Oh, that was a clat right there. Come on. That would have been sweet. Did that... The coin just disappeared right in front of my eyes. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? I keep killing like the same dude. How do we keep crossing paths? Where's the rest of your team? Peek out. There you go. All this event is really showing me is how much I kill the same people over and over again. Like honestly, it's probably pretty rare for me to kill every single member of the enemy team, at least in 10 v 10s. I don't know how that is. I feel like I'm taking different routes every time I'm going around the map. It's just, I run into the same people. And I got a feeling they're not going to add shipment back anytime soon if they want to keep up that player retention. Because people grinding for this mastery, trying to kill all six of the enemy team on, on big ass maps like this, is definitely not happening as fast as it would on shipment. That's for damn sure. And honestly, these games are kind of lasting a long time too. Maybe the strat is just to play like team deathmatch 6v6. What are you doing all the way back here? People play this game so weird. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. 
I'm literally just going to play TDM. All right, here's my thinking behind going to 6v6 TDM. Because I know you can get more tokens in 10v10, but those games are going to last longer. I won't even probably get all 10 each time. And in this, with, with TDM, max I'm staying in this game is 12 minutes. With some of the other modes, it could go on for even longer. Even if I have all 10 tokens, I have to finish the game. So I want the quickest amount of time where I can also just start optimizing as many tokens as I get. Because there's going to be games where I'm not getting all 10 or all 6 or whatever. But as long as I'm getting some and the game's ending, I'm still adding on to that a lot faster than I would just playing 10v10s. Like, we already have 3 right here. About to be 4. If I can hit the shot. Now my teammates got it. All you, buddy. But I will say, going from 10v10 to 6v6, it feels so slow. It's like getting off the highway, going way over the speed limit, more than you should be, and then getting off into a school zone. I feel like I'm crawling over here, and I'm not hitting shots. It's the double whammy. Oh, there's our last token. Come on. Nobody take me out. Perfect. Now I don't care what happens the rest of this game. We did it in only eight kills. That's not bad at all. It's actually efficient as fuck. Ooh, eat that. Ooh, now that I got all the trophies, I'm actually hitting some nice shots. That's what the camo curse does to you. It's not even a camo, it's just the curse. Whenever I'm working towards something, I do not play as well. When I got nothing to lose, I go dummy. Oh, that could have been a clat. Ooh. 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 Oh, come on. I love this gun. It makes you feel like a pro. It's so satisfying to use. Ooh. Gross. Fuck me. Damn. I always get like a few shots leading into a clip and then I, I choke it. Ooh. Oh. 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 Oh, did I hit it? I hope I did. I think I did. Holy shit. Oh, no, I didn't. They're, they're still alive. Never mind. Kill feed had me fucked up. No way we're getting shipment. The, I must be dreaming. Oh, and it's a game in progress. Come on. Why they got to do me dirty like that? That's beyond fucked up. I haven't seen this shit in ages. They're going to throw me in a game that's already 60 kills deep in TDM. Well, let's hope we can get our tokens out of it. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh, we got them all already. See, shipment is a godsend. I joined a game of progress and we still got them. And that's game. Come back soon, shipment. I miss you. All right, I ended up switching back to 10v10 because I'm only 20 tokens away. And I figured if I can get 10 in each game, we'll just be done. I'm kind of getting dookied on. SPMM hitting hard right now. There we go. Finally hitting some plays. Any tokens out of that? We got one. Almost two if I could touch it. Oh, it's still here. Do not despawn on me. Thank God. Ooh, ooh. Definitely not what I was going for, that throwing knife, but I'll take a kill. We did not get all of our uh, tokens from that game, which is very unfortunate. Come on, just 12 more. It really would have been nice to get that 10. Oh, oh, what a fucking crazy throwing knife. Holy shit. I was trying to throw that into the little tunnel, and apparently I hit somebody else. Oh, we're just three away. Come on. How far are we getting on our mastery here? Oh, 124 kills on plats. Not bad. Still a lot to go, though. All right, let's finish this strong. Let's get these tokens and get our blueprint and get out for the day. But as I'm doing this, I'm realizing how far away I'd actually be to getting that calling card. Like, it's actually insane. A thousand trophies? That's just way too much, dude. And if it was a camo instead of a calling card, I might just suffer through and try to get all thousand i don't know i'm conflicted i feel like i'll still try to get it because it'll be very exclusive because you'll probably only be able to get it for like this first half of season three or as long as they decide to have this event go on for so it might be a nice pickup but I, i'm just not that excited about it i think we have enough right we're only two away this is what i'm talking about when i have like camo or challenge dementia we just looked at it and i already forgot and that's game i think we have enough tokens now, unless it glitches out. All right, let's see if we have enough. Yep, 156. Perfect. Let's pick up the Venom Strike Assault Rifle Blueprint. 
Beautiful. Now, what weapon was that even for? The Bass P? Oh, wait. The Bass P is not even an assault rifle, is it? I'm dumb. ISO Hemlock, maybe? No. M13? Yup. All right, let's go ahead, hop in game, and see what it looks like. All right, let's take a quick little peek at the M13 Venom Strike. And you know what? The green on it's actually pretty nice. It looks kind of 8-bit with the way the camo is. I don't know if that's because, like, my textures are low or something. But the green on there is, like, all squared off. And then there's a scorpion on there. But you can't really tell too much unless you're staring right at it. And I did try to look in the gunsmith if this would look good with any other camos on it. And it looks like it covers everything but the mag. And you can't really see the scorpion on it. It's a little disappointing but uh it's not a bad blueprint it looks pretty nice good color scheme to it kind of a cool design but uh 150 tokens i don't know if it's worth it but there you have it we made some progress towards this trophy event we got the big blueprint out of the way uh should we go for the calling card are you guys going for the calling card what are your thoughts on the event let me know but uh i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here uh thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i'll see you in the next one later